Hey everybody, welcome back. And I am back with you for the CVS deals for the week of October 1st. Um, today is October 3rd. I actually went last night. Um, I went to the same one that I've gone to for the past two weeks. Um, but this transaction went horribly wrong. Um, but before we get into that, get into that, please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe. Um, yeah, so the, I wanted to go on Sunday, but I didn't get a chance to go. So I went last night. Um, as soon as I walked in, the coupon machine was out of order. It had a huge sign on it that said out of order. Um, I wanted to turn around and just leave, but it was already after 8 o'clock. And I had a 30% off and it expired yesterday. So I had to use it. So I had to stay where I was. I didn't have time to go to a different one. So I just cut the deals down that I was going to do because a lot of my coupons actually expired on Sunday and a lot of the CRTs I had expired on Sunday. So this time around, um, my coupons were crappy as usual and my CRTs were super crappy. So um, I just did a very small haul, but it just went really wrong like it was way higher like I you know when I checked out than what I had on paper um so I don't know I don't know maybe it was the 30 percent I just I don't know I banked on it being more than it was I, I don't know what happened but um so my total is twenty dollars which I mean if you think about it really isn't that bad but coming off of a completely free transaction last week that it was kind of high for me and I had some coupon issues and I don't know it's I think as soon as the coupon machine was out of order like I think that just kind of like that just kind of ruined the mood um but I did have the 30% off coupon so just really quick I'll do the two the two things that weren't 30% off which was the candy so these four bags of candy and these because these were on sale um was not 30% off. So these were four for 12. When you buy four, you get a $4 ECB. So now here's what happened. Again, I didn't pay attention uh, as per usual. And I had these coupons, the, the CVS coupons, and I didn't read and it says you can only use one. I thought I can use uh, two because I was buying four bags. So I had the, the two one dollar off two coupon like you know paper coupons and then i had two of these and i thought i can use all four to get four dollars off and uh she said it kicked this one back because you can only use one and then reading it it says you can only use one so i lost a dollar off there so i actually ended up only getting three dollars off of the candy um i did use my crt for the candy last week so literally out of pocket it was nine dollars which was way higher way higher than i wanted it to be uh, but you get the four dollars back so rolling it's like a dollar 25 each which isn't bad for these 10 ounce bags of candy but when you could get it so much lower it, you know so it wasn't too bad um and then these the trolley and then also the hair bow um were included like the there's gummy bears these are the gummy snakes there, you know, there's a couple different things included. So they are two for four. Um, when you buy two, you get a dollar back. So they end up being a dollar fifty each, which isn't that bad as opposed to last week. They were free, um, but a dollar fifty. And I love these, and my son, my son loves the gummies. So dollar fifty there. All right. So now everything else that I bought was. 30% off so that's all this stuff right here um so I skipped obviously on the Maybelline and the Revlon because I did not get the four dollar off CRT even though I had a 30% off coupon like I still skipped on the Maybelline and I still skipped on the Revlon um so the wet and wild so now I did have um I remember last week I showed you the little pamphlet things that I get in the mail with the coupons it did have a uh had one dollar off five dollars for wet and wild um and then i also had a one dollar off a of face product from uh coupons.com that i printed quite a while ago 
Um, I think it was actually good until the end of October, but I just went and used it because they haven't had a lot of extra buck deals um, on Wet n Wild. It's, it's been a while since we've gotten money back on Wet n Wild. Um, so I ended up grabbing um, this highlighter, which is $4.99. Nothing was tagged, of course, on this whole entire display other than this pencil being $1.49. Um, and this was $4.99. So after I grabbed these two, I have to get to $10. So I was just grab this just to be safe. Um, so I had the $1 off and then I had the other $1 off the $5. Um, plus I had the 30% off. I also had $3 off 12 cosmetics. Um, so I mean, honestly, I don't know how much it, it turned out to be because of the 30%. Um, so yeah, I really can't figure that out. Um, all together for the 30% off, I saved $11.62. So, but for this you do get, um, let me see if I can find it here. For the Wet n Wild, you got right there. So you do get $5 um, for spending $10 on Wet n Wild. So. It's almost like getting, if you think about it, it's almost like getting this free. Um, then, okay, so then the e.l.f. I had an issue as well. So this was marked $8 at the store. Um, and then obviously I had to grab something else because you have to be at $10 to get the $3 back. So then I grabbed this, which was not tagged, but I figured between these two, um, I would have $10. If this is 8 this has to be, I know these are more than $2, so I thought I was good. Um, this rang up $6, actually, and this rang up $4. So, to me, 6 plus 10 equals 4. Uh, I mean, 6 plus, ten, uh, 6 plus 4 equals 10. I did not get an extra buck. Um, on the receipt, it was telling me that... And I'll show it to you right here. So right here, it says the amount towards this reward is $4. Amount needed to earn this reward is $6. So for whatever reason, this did not count towards the e.l.f. products. Just this did because this was $4 and I still need $6. So I went back. Um, I looked. It didn't say anything about like lip products only or eyes and lip it just said elf cosmetics so I did get 30% off of both of them and then the three off of 12 cosmetics but it did not print three dollars for spending 10 and I don't know why it didn't count this as being you know an elf product it's a cosmetic so I'm not sure what happened there so I lost three dollars on there um so I didn't get the money back also, I was really shocked that, so these are um, $2.50 when you buy two or more. I just did the two. Um, these are actually 30% off. I did not think they were going to be um, because I figured two for five or two fifty dollars for two or more would be considered on sale, but it did actually give me 30% off and it worked towards the three dollars off 12 which actually worked out really well um and I did I drop my paper huh go figure okay all right so that with the 30 percent off um you actually get four dollars back when you buy two so right off the bat they are 50 cents each that's without the 30% off, and that's without the three off of 12 working with it. So these are definitely a money maker. Of course, I can't figure out how much because of the 30% off, but without all that, like if you don't have the 30% off and you don't have the three off of 12 cosmetics, um, you're already you're already just at 50 cents each, which is really good once you get the, the extra bucks. Um, physician's formula I did. Uh, this also worked 30% off, also 3 for 12. So when you spend 15, 
you get $8 back. This is $15.49 in my store. Um, and then you get $8 back for that. And then, of course, I did the candy because I did get another just like last week. Um, I got $1.50 off of three. So these are not on sale. I know sometimes they go on sale for $0.99. Cents. These are $1.25 in my store. That's like the regular, the regular price for it. So I grabbed three. So they're $1.25. Uh, the 30% off counted towards it. So, and then I got the $1.25 off. I mean, the the dollar fifty off three, so they are seventy five cents each before the thirty percent. So that's actually that's a really good deal that it's less than seventy five. Um, and then my son did get soda, um, which was a dollar ninety nine, and then he did get thirty percent off of the soda. So I don't know. I mean, it looked like I'm watching it while she's ringing it up. I'm like, oh, this transaction is gonna be amazing, and then she's like twenty dollars. Um, <laughs> I was like, what just happened? So on top of um, that coupon not working, I had a $4 extra buck that apparently expired. Um, she handed it back to me. So the expiration date was 927. I didn't even notice that. I, I didn't even realize that it expired. So I lost $4. So altogether I lost $5 right off the bat with the transaction. Um, I did, however, get... Let me see if I can focus it in. So my quarterly extra bucks was five dollars. Um, that was the summer, the summer bonus. So I had five dollars there. My extra buck I had three dollars, um, which is actually from the past two weeks, I believe, because after last week I still I needed six dollars to get to the thirty. So that was um, helped from last week. Um, so there's the three off twelve. There's a dollar fifty that's off the candy. Um, there's my dollar off five went and wild that came in the mail. 11.62 was um, what my 30% got me. And I used um, $16.75 in extra bucks. Um, and I ended up getting $22 back. And I ended up paying $20. So, I mean, it's not horribly, horribly bad. But there's, um, that is for the candy. That is for the gummies, that's for the nail polish, that is for the wet and wild, and that's for the physician's formula. And like I said, the one for the e.l.f. did not print. Uh, I'm not sure why it didn't count the primer. Um, so, I don't know. But, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like a horrible experience in store. It's just that I wish that it worked out a little bit better, that the machine wasn't broken, that I, you know, could have done the uh, Revlon or the the Maybelline deal um so yeah otherwise it was okay the cashier was really nice it wasn't like a crazy experience or anything but um yep so I just want to thank you so so much for watching please don't forget to like this video please don't forget to subscribe before you leave um I just want to say thank you to everybody that um that had commented on my ferret being um being sick, I think it was in my Dollar Tree haul, um, I had mentioned about my ferret being sick. She actually um, did pass away um, uh, the beginning, a couple days before I actually got to post that video, um, she had actually passed away. So um, my son's still trying to recover from it. It's hard for a 12 year old to, um, I don't know, it's a process, a pet dying and he was in the house when she passed away the first ferret he was at school when she passed away that was a year ago so you know he he processed it differently uh this time around he was home and so it was a little um it was interesting so we're all still trying to process that the other two ferrets i have are also still trying to process it they're um super depressed so we're doing as much as we can to to kind of get them going again but I just wanted to say thank you so so much for everybody that that had kind words for for us for that um yeah so thank you so so much for watching and until the next video